preparation of amides. Um, amides can be made from acid chlorides, acid anhydrides, ester, and all those typos in there, or carboxylic acids. We're only going to look at carboxylic acids. So you can make amides um, at high temperatures from ammonia or amines reacting with carboxylic acids. So this is happening at 100 degrees Celsius or higher, so temperature of boiling water, and it does require a catalyst. So ammonia plus a carboxylic acid will get you a primary amide. Um, primary amine would get you a secondary amide. What happens if we do these at room temperature? If we mix um, a primary amine and a carboxylic acid without the high heat and the catalyst? Well, we just have an acid-base reaction, and we end up with a carbox carboxylate salt. So that's not too exciting. So amidification means making an amide. So it's the reaction of a carboxylic acid with an amine or with ammonia to produce an amide. And this is an example of a condensation reaction because a water molecule is given off. Remember, a condensation reaction is where we have two molecules combining into one, and then a small molecule is, is given off. These are condensing. So we're losing the hydroxyl group from the carboxylic acid and the hydrogen from the ammonia or the amine, and they're going to join and form an amide. So ammonia will form a primary amide. If you've got a primary amine, then you're going to end up with this R group on your amide, so you get a secondary amide. A secondary amine will give you a tertiary amide. So here's a couple of specific examples. Here's butanoic acid and methyl amine. So the OH comes off of the carboxylic acid and one of the H's comes off the of the amine. And then that nitrogen is bonded to that carbon. And that's where we get the amide group. Now this is N-methyl butanamide, which is a secondary amine. We started with a uh, amide, secondary amide. We started with a primary amine. Amine, amide, they're different, but they're so similar. Here's um, benzoic acid reacting with a secondary amine, diethylamine. So there we've got our nitrogen. It's got two ethyl groups on it. But there is this hydrogen. So that hydrogen gets lost, and this OH gets lost, and we end up with this guy. So this part here is benzamide, and we've got two ethyl groups. So we've got NN diethyl benzamide. This is similar to what happens with esters. And so it can be helpful to think of an amide as having an acid part and an amine part. And we, when we named it, we looked at the acid part for the base of its name. Esters are, also have an acid part. They're derivatives of carboxylic acids. And then they have an alcohol part. So the OH from the acid and the H from the alcohol were lost, and then the O was bonded to the carbon. And so when we have an amide, and we want to know what that came from, I know you couldn't connect to ethanol. Quit complaining. When we look at it, we cut it down the middle here between the carbon and the nitrogen, then we can see what we needed to, to make that. So this is the parent acid, and that's the parent amine. So if we react um, butanoic, no, propano, propano, propanoic acid, sorry. Propanoic acid with methyl amine, then we'll end up with N-methyl propanamide. And that's something that we need to be able to think about for examples like this. 
What carboxylic acid and amine, or ammonia, are needed to prepare each of the following amides? So we look at these, and we identify where that amide group is. It's the, the oxygen, carbon, nitrogen. And then we're going to mentally cut it there. And an OH is going to go on here to make that a benzo, uh, a benzo, like a carboxylic acid. And on the nitrogen will be the H. This is hydrolysis, adding water back. It's the reverse of that condensation reaction. So what are these guys? This is what are they? I think they're looking for names. So what's the name of this guy over here? Ethanoic acid. And what's the name of the amine? What two groups are attached to the nitrogen? Ethyl and methyl. Ethyl comes first in the alphabet, so it comes first in the name. Ethyl, methyl, amine. How about C? Yeah, how about C? That's on the next page. How about B? Where do we want to cut this to look at where it came from? Right here. Chop. Right there. So on the left, we have the carboxylic acid. So this is three carbons. That would be from propane. So propanoic acid. Because what we do is, is where this was cut, we're putting a water in. And the OH goes there, and the H goes over here. Propanoic acid and methylamine. And here's C. There's the amide, and we're going to cut the amide functional group. And we imagine putting an OH over here and an H there. What's the name of this guy? Benzoic acid. And what's NH3? Ammonia. There might be too many humps in there, but it's okay. Any questions?